<laughs> okay, so I have this. Um, originally, I invited all the Chinese board directors to join me for this panel, but unfortunately, a couple of them did not get the visa in time. So last minute, actually, I invited these esteemed panelists, and um, they all have something to do with uh, helping out building up OpenStack community. So first of all, I'd like to provide an introduction. My name is Annie Lai, and actually I work for Huawei. And I'm also Huawei's platinum member uh, board representative. I sit on open, I've been sitting on OpenStack board for a, a little bit, uh, two years now. And um, also I'm one of the organizers help uh, organizing the first China Day we had in Beijing last year. And then um, this year we're having it again, July 24th, 25th. So please remember that. And if you want to go to China or you live in China, definitely welcome you to attend. And this year we get a lot of uh, support from the foundation. Um, Jonathan, Mark, Lauren, Ellen Clark, and a couple of TCs, a few PTLs, they're all going to go to China and participate in this um, OpenStack China Day because you know there's a huge um, community there, and we want to make sure that the community in China can be integrated very well with the rest of the OpenStack community. And um, some uh, we see a lot of excitement, especially we get a lot of young people, you know, fresh out of universities and stuff. We really want to make sure that we can help them on board and then you know add value to the community and feel they are really truly you know part of the community. So with that, um, that's a long introduction, I apologize. And I'd like to introduce, uh, introduce our four pa panelists here. And first of all, um, uh, Ye Li, who is part of the um, Costco organization, and I'll, I'll just have her introduce herself. Hi, hello everyone. I'm Li Yunyang from China. And you can call me my last name Yang because my first name, Li Yun, is just a little hard for you to remember. <laughs> so, uh, I, and I come from China Electronic Standardization Institute. Uh, usually we call it SESI. Uh, and the role of SESI in China is just like uh, the NIST in the United States. And I'm also the uh, uh, Secretary General of China Clouds, uh, Open Source Cloud League. Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> uh, and this is Costco. And Costco is one of the biggest uh, open source organization in China. And we have more than 140 uh, members in China. And uh, about 50% of, uh, sorry, 70% of uh, members provide cloud service based on open source, uh, uh, open stack. Uh, so that's all, that's my invitation. Uh, hello, I'm Kui Shi. Uh, I'm from Eastank. Eastank is a company uh, founded three years ago. And uh, I take charge of uh, solution function design and also the product uh, solution or, and the architecture. In the past three years, we, uh, Eastank have accumulated more than 100 uh, customers in different uh, areas, including financial and uh, large enterprises and also uh, energy uh, comp uh, companies. Uh, and also in the past uh, uh, three years, our products are uh, keep growing and uh, we support more and uh, more, more uh, features of supplied all the uh, customer, customer matching uh, service for the customers. And also we have enlarged our uh, service uh, area, including the uh, doctor and uh, uh, companies uh, and so on. And also we go deep in the uh, basic uh, software, including the operating system uh, in, uh, from last year. So, uh, okay. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, I will introduce some details about our customers and the less later. Okay, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is. Hello. Uh, oh. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, oh but some yeah, echo, echo, echo. Okay. Maybe a close one. Okay. Uh, my name is Chu Quan. I'm with uh, 99 Cloud. I'm in charge of the 99 Cloud product R&D. 
Uh, Nightingale Cloud has been found since 2012, and we have uh, customers in various uh, verticals, such as uh, banking financial and uh, energy area. Uh, Nightingale Cloud have uh, over, uh, over um, have many, uh, putting a lot of resources contribute to OpenStack. We, ha we are the top three contributor in China and top 10 contributor global wise. Uh, we are the evangelists of the uh, OpenStack and uh, the cloud solution in China. We like to uh, spend our efforts to help our customer improve their business by using OpenStack and open technologies. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Xuan, Xuan Wang uh, from Intel. So I'm also the engineer manager of uh, a small team in Intel uh, based in Shanghai. It's uh, working on OpenStack projects like uh, Nova, Neutron, et cetera. And I am also an uh, individual uh, director of OpenStack Foundation Board. And uh, I, have, I, I have been uh, on the position for three years. So uh, we, are, we are also uh, as an Intel employee, uh, you know, we, we do hardware, and we are also uh, working on the open source software, but we don't uh, make any products, make, we don't make any uh, distribution based on OpenStack, but we provide technical support for our customer and OpenStack vendors in China. So this is why I'm here. Yeah, thank you. And Shane is also an author of um, an OpenStack book. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. always try to promote his book, but he never paid me. <laughs> All right. So, um, so very quickly, I just you know, in case you are not very familiar with the China market, and I just want to give a little bit of uh, you know overview here. Like I said earlier, um, China region is fast growing, and uh, it ranks number two in number of OpenStack users according to the latest OpenStack uh, user survey. And also, it has the second highest number of OpenStack developers. And right now, we have one platinum you know member, um, Huawei. And even though Huawei is actually a global company, we sell to you know everywhere all, all over the world. But um, we're based in um, Shenzhen, China, with offices all over the world. And uh, we have since last year, we have a lot of you know Chinese companies um, applying for the gold memberships. And then um, right now, we get I think totally including. I mean, I'm talking about you know Chinese region, so that include. The Taiwan as well. Um, in total, I think we have about 12 gold members. So that's a pretty substantial number um, of you know Chinese gold members. And um, and then you know we also do. These are the names in case you want to see. These are the names of the companies. And the latest edition, we got, we just got um, Unicom and Fiber, uh, China Unicom and Fiber Home. They just got their gold membership accepted by the board on Sunday. And so as far as community uh, efforts uh, standpoint, and um, so you know, this group of people definitely, they are the heroes of the Chinese com OpenStack community. They have done tremendous work growing the, chi uh, the China market. And oh, I don't know why this keeps going this way. And um, I just want to give a quick overview here. Um, you know, all these companies have been uh, traditional. Who is technical here? Can you guys help me keep this up? And yeah, he, he must be. <laughs> so, so um, you know, we, these uh, these companies, uh, including Huawei, we are a regular you know event sponsors, and you know people have sent a lot of people. Uh, these companies have sent a lot of people. Maybe you got to reboot. Sorry, <laughs> a lot of. You know what? I can just talk about it. That's fine. I no. that, uh, it works uh, if I stand here. Yeah, yeah, let, just he, he can be my <laughs> assistant. Okay, but make sure you don't block people behind you. <laughs> so, uh, no, no, it's okay. Why, you guys, why don't you let him sit here and you guys move down there? Or, or you can, you know what, I don't even need to see the slide. You can just do it over there. So, um, so you know, we, we send speakers here, and then, um, and then, like I said, China Day, we're doing it the second time, and um, I specifically invited Theory, who is the chair of TC, and I've talked to him that, you know, we got all these Chinese, you know, member companies as well as developers, and we really need to, you know, mobilize all these developers in China to, you know, kind of help them understand, uh, a lot of them are new, so we want to help them understand what's going on in the OpenStack community, and then, um, 
in OpenStack itself and see where the gaps are so you know, we all can contribute together in, a, in one direction because we definitely don't want you know, multiple directions you know, development of development efforts happening from various regions. So we are the foundation, you know, from the community standpoint, we're you know, trying to grow this region, trying to mobilize these developers. And, and China Day was definitely very, um, you know, was the beginning of that. And then this year we're doing it again. We're going to do, and also we're going to have an operator meetup. Um, so we're going to gather up all the OpenStack users um, in China and then talk about their experience, their, you know, challenges in operating OpenStack clouds. And these guys are also, um, they have enabled a lot of um, OpenStack um, you know, use uh, large operators in China later. I'm going to have them talk about those use cases that they have helped um, build. And then also we have Bug Smash. This is actually pretty, I think it's pretty unique to China. Um, you know, Shane and um, so this is an event that um, the, you know, Costco and uh, Intel and Huawei, we uh, kind of organize them, you know, it's a tradition, we do it one, twice a year, and we gather up all the developers together, come and fix bugs, and also throughout the process, we also provide training to young, you know, new OpenStack developers. So, so far we have fixed over, you know, five, six hundred bugs. And actually, the, I'm going to put a plug for you. <laughs> so the next Bug Smash event in China is next week in Suzhou, in a beautiful city, Suzhou. So if you want to fly to China next week, please you know, participate in our Bug Smash event. It's free to join. And, um, and then also we do you know, a, a lot of, there are a lot of member companies, they all organize various meetups for various topics and objectives. So we see a lot of community works happening. I think what's happening, uh, what's um, really lacking is you know, have more tightly integration with the, re the rest of the you know, OpenStack community, especially US, because of the you know, time zone difference. It's sometimes really hard for them to, you know, to wake up and you know, do the conference to the IRC you know, with, uh, with other projects, people in working on projects. So, okay, so thank you, Shane. You did a good job, and I think we're done with the presentation. And um, so, okay, so I'm going to start asking questions. First of all, uh, Li Yu, um, I'd like to ask you, since you represent a government entity, and um, describe, you know, the Chinese government's support in, you know, open source in general. I know open source is very hot in China, but I'm sure it has something to do with the support from the government. So please describe government support in open source. Okay. Uh, so in recent years, OpenStack uh, make uh, great development in China. Uh, first of all, definitely uh, the most biggest mm, mm, contributors is the Chinese developers. Uh, but mean, meanwhile, uh, the organizations as Costco uh, contribute to the development and the promotion of OpenStack in China. Uh, yes, uh, we have done many things uh, last year, uh, we we helped to. Uh, sorry, I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah. My speaking English is not so good. Oh, so okay. <laughs> uh, it's actually very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we helped to uh, build the ecosystem of cloud computing in China, and we um, helped to uh, guide the uh, members to, uh, sorry, I'm just a little. <laughs> to, to learn about OpenStack? Uh, yeah. To learn and then to participate and to contribute? Yes, and we just guide the members to, uh, to hold the um, technical event just like OpenStack Bug Smash and mm -hmm. uh, Meetup. Yeah. And also uh, we kick off the um, work on on the um, explodes uh, uh, on the combination of uh, open open source and the standard, yeah. and we know uh, in 2015 ISO uh, published an uh, international standard of cloud computing named uh, Reference Architecture of Cloud Computing, uh, and in Costco we gave this, uh, we give this uh, international standard uh, 
a solution based on OpenStack. Mm -hmm. I think this is uh, the first one in the world, and I think this this work is uh, is a great work, um, and will um, keep on prom promote, uh, promoting yeah promoting this 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 work. Uh, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We definitely want to you know we we want to thank. You know, Costco for you know contributing so much efforts to help grow the China community. So for the rest of you guys, I heard um, you know like Chinese government has uh, some major cloud initiative. Um, can you guys share with that? That you know the what exactly is the cloud initiative in China? The everything has to be on cloud or te or technology. You know any kind of uh, technology initiative in China that's triggering all these companies investing in cloud and in, is there such a thing the china initiative yep. and uh, uh, from from the government uh, perspective there are uh, some organization organization to promote the uh, open Stack and also the open source community and also there's many different organizations to collect all or gather all the uh, companies that uh, focus on the cloud uh, solution companies to gather together and to uh, uh, as an organization to hold the meeting and all, all the conference or all the and uh, also and the bug smash and uh, uh, meet up and uh, etc. That's a uh, uh, that's a good ph phenomenon that uh, there are more and more uh, people join the open science community and uh, also uh, more people and all, all engineer to to contribute in the open science uh, uh, open source uh, projects and uh, also that. Uh, in China, I, uh, from my own opinion, that there's more, uh, there's still like very, uh, uh, there's still uh, lack of uh, engineer, open stack engineer in China, and we need more, uh, especially for not the beginner of the, the open stack, uh, mm -hmm. especially of the uh, some engineer, uh, uh, we we try and accumulate a very deep uh, technology such as uh, the not only uh, not limited on the open stack and also the the, the level the, the the deep level of the uh, the technology such as the uh, operating system and also the some very basic uh, software so uh, because that uh, open stack is a platform but uh, if we supply a total solution we should prepare all of the uh, stacks, not only the open stack, and also the low, low level uh, of the uh, uh, technologies. So the ability to integra integrate all of the uh, technology that, uh, to show the uh, a complete solution for the customers. So not only all uh, the open stack or the meetup or something else, there's also some uh, other, uh, other open source uh, communities such as the SAFE and also the Kubernetes and uh, other uh, open source communities. But also uh, there's some specific uh, organization or some uh, community or website that to gather uh, uh, people or engineers together to, to focus on improving our Promote, promote the community in China. So that's a good phenomenon that uh, uh, all the cloud related open source uh, communities that uh, more and more people join the, uh, the community. And uh, more and more engineers join in different companies that uh, make uh, their own cloud, uh, cloud solution or the product uh, better and better. And uh, more and more uh, customers will uh, we are willing to adopt the open stack as the platform of a cloud solution. All right. Okay. Thank you. So I want to ask uh, 99 Cloud, you guys actually enable state grid. Yes. 
Yeah, that's a huge project. And uh, can you talk about that? Sure. That's based on OpenStack. Yeah. Uh, Large scale. Ninety Nine Cloud uh, held state uh, held this uh, state grade to enable uh, twenty six provinces uh, cloud. We help them to um, how to uh, help them to manage the over thirty data center in uh, in China distributed in uh, the 26 provinces. We help them leverage how to provide our solution to them, help them build an engineer team, help them to enable their legacy uh, data center equipment and use it in the cloud, uh, overall cloud solution, and help them centralize all the cloud resources so they can use a centralized platform to manage resources uh, distributed around, uh, all, uh, in the China. And also we uh, have close working on their uh, business. We are uh, putting the, the cloud solution in the energy industry, help them to uh, put, uh, migrate their application from their or original uh, platform to the, our new cloud platform and improve the operation ef uh, efficiency and their business uh, mm -hmm. agilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we see a lot of uh, actually e-government kind of initiatives going on, you know, because government wants to modernize their infrastructure and uh, also be, um, also this, this industrial digitization um, movement that's going on right now. So uh, a lot of, um, you know, member companies uh, here actually are very, very much involved in those projects. Um, so next, um, I'd like to ask, get a developer perspective because Shane has written a book to help Chinese developers learn about OpenStack. So I want to ask Shane, from your perspective, you know, what are the challenges of Chinese developers when they try to first learn about OpenStack or, and, you know, develop OpenStack and integrate it into the community? What are their main challenges? Uh, I think the, uh, I have two uh, major challenges uh, as a developer. One is a time zone issue. Uh, as uh, Annie mentioned, it's, uh, it's very hard for developers to, uh, stay very late to join the meetings in the community. And the second issue, as you know, the language issue. So I, I think uh, the people, uh, especially for the Chinese developer, they are, they are eager to learn uh, new technology and also contribute. But it's, uh, then it's, it's very hard to say, it's very hard to speak out. So they, they talk less. And, uh, but they develop more. <laughs> yeah, especially for developers, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And uh, uh, I think the other issue we have is uh, like uh, in, uh, in China, a lot of uh, customers, uh, the Chinese is a, a sort of language, so uh, the, for the customer, it's very hard to use English uh, software. So they will do a lot of customization uh, based on OpenStack. So uh, especially they, they have uh, specific uh, requirements um, um, but for the, uh, they, they also eager to um, uh, satisfy the requirements and contribute to the upstream. However, um, most of the uh, features, most of the features are from the customization, uh, they are not able to uh, upstream them. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, I think this is a big challenge because uh, they are put a lot of efforts to maintain those features there locally, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I have one thing to add that is uh, the resource, the education resources is not so uh, equally in China as you, we know Beijing and Shanghai is the largest uh, uh, OpenStack engineer uh, location, right? But if we have customer in the uh, southeastern or south, south uh, mm -hmm. west, we cannot have engineer there because of the education. So I think the government should have uh, those cloud or, or, or engineering resources uh, improve in different areas, have they equally can provide such education to our uh, students, mm -hmm. they can mm -hmm. become a qualified engineer. Right, right. And I have a question for uh, Chris. So you guys also provide, you know, um, open site enablement service. Can you talk about some of your use, use cases? Like what kind of uh, open site clouds you have um, help uh, so, uh, yeah. I will share one case of my customer. Uh, the Postal Saving Bank of China, uh, anchor name is PSBC. 
It's the fifth, uh, fifth largest uh, bank in China, uh, and uh, it leased uh, uh, in Hong Kong stock uh, last year. And uh, uh, th this is a department of uh, the China Post, uh, and uh, it uh, separated, uh, split from the uh, company and the, uh, and the separate company uh, about uh, 10 years ago. Uh, uh, it, uh, uh, this bank is the fifth largest because it serves about uh, half of a billion people in China and all, also all over, the, all over around the world. And uh, uh, from the, from the uh, because it's funded just 10 years, it's, uh, you can say it's, it's a new bank, but uh, it's very large. And also the, the architect, IT uh, architecture is very traditional. And uh, in the, uh, in the f recent few years that there is uh, a mobile payment and also some uh, internet uh, financial uh, uh, trend that uh, it, can, it must face a such kind of trade and also they have the, the, the uh, 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 it, uh, in actual speaking it is threatened by the internet some internet companies that uh, uh, the traditional the, the site location is not uh, on the uh, is not uh, uh, advantage in the current days so they must change the, to 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 give very uh, flexible and also uh, cost saving solutions for their new uh, applications, especially because that in modern days the, the mobile pay and also the uh, online uh, online uh, financial is very easy, uh, very uh, easy to access. So that they must have the new method to access the, the bank. So mm -hmm. such kind of application is very modern for the traditional uh, companies and also for the PSPC. So they, in current years, they have developed a new, new business application model that uh, they have, must have to uh, scale out very flexibly and also to, to uh, attract more people to, uh, for their new business, uh, business model. So such kind of uh, the background that there is uh, um, very willing and eager to, to, to move to the uh, cloud solution. Mm -hmm. So in the past, uh, about uh, two, year, two years ago, we started to, uh, uh, as the pl a cloud solution provider, to construct the, the cloud platform. Yeah. Uh, and also in Beijing and also Hefei, there are two data centers. And we also, uh, that's a very large uh, scale at more than five, five to 600 uh, uh, right. servers. At. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So we heard one use case from the government project, one from banking, and I'd like to share with you one in automobile. So uh, Huawei, we actually help enable Dongfeng Automobile, which is one of the top three automobile companies in China. And um, they chose OpenStack for their digital transformation projects. And basically, they, what they did was they used a cloud, OpenStack cloud platform to consolidate, to uh, virtualize all of the resources, and then come up with the one standard cloud platform, and, one, and then uh, cloud services, they deployed cloud services from their data centers into all various you know, sales, and, uh, sales and support offices all over China. So that was also another um, large scale uh, deployment. So a lot of, uh, so that's my observations, a lot of projects, open set projects in China are large scale. And um, I think uh, in Barcelona and China Mobile also got the uh, super user award. So China tend to have big, big projects. And can you guys, explain why that's the case or everything in China is big. <laughs> I can share some uh, insights, yeah. Yeah, I can share some uh, reasons. So China uh, has a large population. So let's, uh, so any that just mentioned that's large scale. I'm also interested in large scale. Uh, so actually, um, uh, so uh, we um, define the uh, different sort of uh, customer in China. One of the most important customer in China, we call it SOE. It's a state-owned enterprise. 
it's like China Mobile, like um, uh, Dongfeng Automobile and the uh, uh, State Grid are all SOE companies. China Telecom, yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So I uh, I think uh, so my team has been supporting uh, China Mobile for a long time. So um, at the I think that uh, uh, Austin at the Austin Summit, uh, the China Mobile come to us. Uh, came to us to and asked uh, they don't want to be the first person to try OpenStack in China. But they, uh, as a strategy, as a national strategy, they want to move on to OpenStack, but they don't want to be the first person. Because they, uh, they don't trust OpenStack can deal with large scale problem. So later on, I, this Tim Bell is here. I, I introduced uh, China Mobile to Tim, Tim Bell, and uh, they have thousands of nodes to run OpenStack. So they, uh, the team Bell introduced uh, the, the uh, brief architecture of OpenStack, how they just uh, to confirm, convince them to use OpenStack. Yeah, that's, uh, but so for, for, the use, uh, for the usage, uh, I think that is true. And uh, like China Mobile has, uh, has many data centers. Each data center contains thousands of nodes. Uh, some of the requirements are, are weird, so you cannot imagine. And uh, but uh, basically, the customer uh, the customer requirements is from the the daily use. They they are uh, proprietary users like VMware users. They they want to move on to OpenStack, and they don't want to change the behavior. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason. And they have a lot of uh, users. The data center has a lot of users. And since they have a lot, a large population, so this is the reason. Yeah. Yeah. See, we have so many, you know, large operators in China. We should really get them integrated into our user community because I'm sure they have a lot of precious, you know, insight and best practices that um, they have that they can share with the rest of the community. Yeah. I'd like to introduce another case in China Mobile. They have a data center in another city in China, and the data center can ten. 3,000 nodes, all the, all the nodes are, f are for b uh, ironic only. <laughs> bare metal. Yeah, bare metal only, 3,000 nodes. It's a special. Yeah, and just Shen mentioned the, uh, the SOE, right? SOE, com SOE. SOE company, they are giant in the uh, China, also giant in the uh, globally. You see the Fortune 500 company, they are the maybe top 10 or top, top, uh, top five uh, from the um, uh, uh, 99 Club uh, experience, like we are enabled the uh, stay great. They have over 6,000 nodes to uh, provide the engineer uh, energy uh, application to provide the chi uh, China, uh, China the engine energy business to such as uh, billing and, and, and controlling such like business. And on the other hand, I think uh, why China has such uh, uh, re big requirement or huge requirement on, on cloud, uh, because we, are, we have a great uh, increase on our economy, like, like some small company, they have uh, see the opportunities on the uh, 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 like some online commercial business, they c require a large uh, server requirement to fulfill their uh, the business increment. And f like very famous, uh, the OFO or mobile uh, mobile such a uh, share economy bike, they are they have grown very dynamically or, or dra dramatically on their user uh, requirements. So they need a cloud infrastructure to support them. Mm -hmm. Great. So just for a few more minutes, um, I'd like to kind of explore, you know, what are the things that as a community or as a, you know, OpenStack Foundation can do to help further, you know, um, in mobilize and enable and grow the Chinese OpenStack community? What are the things that we can think about um, to, imp you know, to help the Chinese developers and users? Okay, I think the first thing maybe, uh, the Chinese engineer, they won't have a summit in, in China, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes, I think that is the top, maybe top priority for us. Ra raise your hands if you agree. <laughs> wow, we see a lot of hands. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, uh, 
if we have one summit in China, they, we can um, have more people join the summit. We can bring more requirements into the OpenStack Foundation, help us, help the foundation to improve the OpenStack because we are maybe the, I think, largest uh, market in, China, in globally, right? Right, right, yeah. exactly. And so in the meantime, that's why we have China Day to kind of tie us over, but we still need that official summit yes. in China. So, anything else? If not, um, I'd like to open up the questions for the, you know, from the audience. If you have any question, feel free to ask. Um, we have all these Chinese experts here and who can you know, answer some questions. Thank you. Do, you. do you take OpenStack from Trunk or do you buy a vendor like a Huawei solution? So I think it varies. I can answer, you guys can answer too. I think it varies, right? And I think for large, it's the same as the rest of the world, large enterprises. Generally, um, you know, they want to kind of, you know, the stuff from the Trunk sometimes is not enough for their requirements. So they generally work with the vendor. But then, in, but then, you know, at the same time, you, you could have some big enterprise if they have a large IT team, I suppose they could. But the trend is large enterprises or those SOEs, they will work with the vendor. And then right now, we're also trying to get them more integrated into the OpenStack community and foundation. That's why you see China Telecom, China Mobile, China Unicom, they are all gold members. And they all have an OpenStack team themselves as well to, you know, to learn more about OpenStack themselves. Yeah, uh, for, for those giant companies, they prefer to build an engineering team and maintain the, may, um, maintain the trunk version or maintain their own version. And for some uh, small or medium-sized uh, company, they prefer to use the render support version. Okay. Any more question? If not, oh, one more? Okay. Just like the way you know, here we have competition from public cloud, right, uh, compared to private cloud. What about uh, Ali Cloud? You know, something here in the market. Do you guys want to comment about Ali Cloud? Ali Cloud is another, another sort of customer. They, uh, like we, we call it an internet company, like Ali, Baidu, and Tencent. Uh, BAT. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Just like a Google. Baidu, Ali, US, Baba, yeah. Tencent. Yeah. For Ali Cloud. Uh, they they don't use uh, they don't use OpenStack uh, since they they have to uh, make some differentiation to the competitors, so uh, they develop their own uh, cloud infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. So so it, it's very similar to U.S. market, right? In U.S. we have AWS. In China, there's B8. You know, there's uh, Ali Ali Cloud. And um, but we we do think because there are so many member companies that are supporting OpenStack in China. We are actually getting a lot, a lot of, a lot more synergy than Ali Cloud. Yeah. Any more comment? If not, we have people coming in for the next session. Well, thank you so much for your time, and thank you, panelists. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.